okay so this is the uh, second video under this lecture series and in this lecture series we will introduce you some basic concepts basic physical entities that are needed to describe the motion of a particle the first thing we will look at is the distinction between the distance and displacement suppose there are two points uh, let's assume that this is a map there are two points two locations a and b and uh, there's a vehicle here the vehicle is supposed to go from a to b you know to get from a to b you see that there are four parts available first part second part third part and fourth part now if you take this part second part you can see here that the length of this part is much lesser much less than the first part and the third part so these parts are called a distance so distance is a measure of length so it is the length of this part length of this part called the distance it, it, it does not have anything to do with uh, directions so it, it only measures the uh, distance or length of a uh, part now if you look at these two points you can find the a shortest distance from a to b because if you want to move from a to b from one location to another you always try to find the shortest distance as possible so that you can uh, approach the uh, terminal point as soon as possible so the shortest distance between a and b is called a displacement the shortest distance between a and b is called a displacement you can see here that displacement uh, not only has a magnitude it also has a direction so the displacement is obtained by joining point a and b with a straight line segment if you draw it or if you draw a line segment connecting a and b the length of that line segment represents the uh, magnitude of the displacement Okay, so displacement definitely shortest distance between two points shortest distance so displacement is also a distance but with an attitude attitude means it has a direction now if you can see here that all these part part one two three are much larger than this part they're always larger than this part so i can make this distinction inequality here that a distance between two particular points, distance is always greater than no equal to the magnitude of the displacement. Why did I put magnitude here? Because displacement is a vector quantity. So we are only uh, referring to the magnitude of that vector quantity. Now this displacement uh, can be written in this way. If we are moving from A to B, we can put an arrow head that says from A to B. So displacement can be written uh, in ve vectorial uh, symbols as well. Okay, uh, now that we uh, know about displacement and distance and di uh, distances, we will move into uh, speed and velocity. So under speed and velocity, we will define uh, this entity called average speed. You can see here that I have underlined average part, average speed and average velocity so average speed is a distance divided by time and uh, let me move closer average speed is the distance divided by time so if you take the first part the length of this path is the distance and the time it takes for you to get from a to b would be the time here for example, let's say that uh, this refers to 100 kilometers and it takes uh, two hours to reach point B. So in this case, the speed, or average speed would be 100 kilometers divided by two hours, which gives you 50 kilometers per hour. 
okay so this is the definition of speed distance divided by time this is not a vector quantity and the average velocity is defined as the displacement divided by time so you can see here that by looking at this picture you may notice that uh, speed can be different speed can be different because there are uh, three options uh, which are different in length so it, uh, suppose there are no uh, traffic jam here so uh, the time it takes from to reach from a to b uh, might, might be proportional to the distance so uh, speed can be different but the average velocity average velocity might be consistent provided that there are no any restrictions to motion here so average this average velocity is defined as the displacement displacement is the shortest distance between two points divided by the time it takes now since displacement is a vector quantity average velocity is also a vector quantity so when you are dealing with uh, vector quantities the first thing you must know that uh, you have to obey certain rules when you want to add or subtract vectors so if you're looking at one dimensional motion you you need to uh, make the convention uh, that says vector in certain direction or specified direction is positive and the opposite direction is negative so you have to make that distinction when you work with the uh, vectors in one dimension if you go into two dimensional space then you have to use uh, unit vectors which are perpendicular to each other to uh, represent vectors but so uh, dealing with one dimensional problems would be much easier because you can treat the vectors uh, similar to real numbers okay so that's about it uh, for this video we will uh, see you guys in the next video